Today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of these modules for your DIY Powerwall battery kit. Let's begin. Some of the tools that you're going to need, it's a, a pen or a sharpie or something that it's going to allow you to mark the spacer. You're going to need a riveting gun. I have this one, it cost me about $20 on Home Depot. And you also need a ruler. This is the smallest one that I have. So yeah. When you first open the package and you receive your modules and your battery kit, you're going to have a different parts. You're gonna have some screws for the spacer. You're gonna have the spacer, the clips that I use for the positive side. You got some rivets for the negative contact. And then you have your PCBs, which is your positive and your negative. So the first thing you're going to do when you get your order, is take your positive side, and then all you have to do is get the clip, put it right there, make sure this side is flush, it's perfect, and just slide it in. It has to be perfectly centered to make sure it's not on top of the fuse and that's all you have to do with this side push it in a little bit slide it in and you're done if you have to remove it because it's not aligned use something to put it back out because once it's uh, set once the clip it's sit in it's it grabs the PCB you want to basically lift the top part because those clips has a little piece that's sticking into the PCB it's trying to grab so if you don't lift that it's going to damage the PCB so you just lift it up push it back out again realign it and push it back so you do that with every single one over here which are 20s after you do that you go to your negative side which is right here this one's going to be facing up so when you put your PCB when you put your spacer, it's gonna be like that. And then when you put your positive, it's gonna be like that. So both parts are gonna be facing up just to make a good contact. So back to your negative side. When you get your rivets, you're gonna just put it like that. Make sure it has, it's all the way back. It's, make sure it's not um, like that. It has to be all the way back. And then you get your tool Put it right in. All you have to do is squeeze it until you hear a pop. That's it. That's how you do the installation on the rivets. Once more, once you have that, get the tool gun right there. There you go. That's how easy you make the rivets. So now that you have your positive and negative, you're going to get your spacer. And you're going to look for the center of the spacer. And you're going to measure 3 inches and 5 eighths. And that's basically your center. Try to center that right in the middle. And then you're going to take your piece. And you're going to try to center it. Try to be on both sides. And just center your piece. Take a screw. Start the screw on it. Make sure everything is okay, and you just screw it in place. You can continue doing it. You start the screw, and then you do it. And there you go. Once you're done, you're gonna end up with something look like this, which is going to have all the rivets facing up. It's going to have everything center, and then you're ready to go. And after you put the batteries on this, you need to remember this is a live module that it has a positive side and a negative side. And it's going to act as just one battery. Just be careful when you're, the batteries are put into the kit, into each module, because you, know, you don't want to damage it, you don't want to short it or anything. And then you have your positive and your negative, and you do your connections in series or parallel. So there you go guys, this is the way that you put together a kit. We are working to try to get to you guys a better way, a faster way and the easiest way possible for you to assemble one of these kits. 
But in the meantime, uh, that's what, how you put it together. And in future video, we're going to do a bigger battery to show you step by step how to we assemble everything. But in the meantime, this is how you do it. So if you have any questions, you can send me an email. I'm going to leave my emails on the description below. And also, you could go to the website DIYBatteryStore.com and in, there's a section called Contact Us. And you can send me a message and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks again for buying this. You're supporting me in every way that you could possibly imagine. And I'm doing my best to keep on um, upgrading the battery kit, working on the BMS, and fulfilling orders. So, hope you understand. In the meantime, if you can share pictures either on Facebook, Instagram, or just send them to me, I, I really want to look and, and see what you guys are doing with the battery kit. If you have suggestions and you have any advice, please also send it to me because I'm just one guy and I'm trying to do my best. So anyway, remember, Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.